Catherine Mahler here for another installment of Tips and Tricks. Today I want to talk to you about how to make your violin sound louder or quieter while you're playing. So the word for that, the technical term, is dynamics. And in classical music you'll see that that's actually written into the music. So there will be these little letters like P for piano, which means quiet, and F for forte, which means loud, and then there's mezzo piano, MP, and mezzo forte, and the M the mezzo means medium. And so you don't want everything to be exactly the same volume when you're playing. So there are four main ways that you can make your violin sound louder or quieter while you're playing. So the first one is how much bow you're using. So if I'm using a lot of bow, my violin is going to be louder. If I'm using just short bows, playing the same thing, playing the same speed, then my violin is quieter. So that's number one. Number two is where in the bow I'm playing. So if I play closer to the frog, closer to this part, my bow is much heavier down here. So this is going to be louder. But if I play up here, close to the tip, my violin is quieter. So that's number two. Number three is where my bow is positioned in between the bridge and the fingerboard. So the closer that I play to the bridge, I get a louder sound and the closer that I play to the fingerboard, I get a quieter sound. Now you have to be careful with these because otherwise if you're too close to the bridge, you get squeaks, and if you're too far over the fingerboard, then you can get that, that kind of dying cow sound, but you can play around with that and where you are, louder and quieter. And then the last one, and this is another one that you have to be really careful with, is you can play with how much pressure you're putting on the bow with your arm. And so the more pressure I put, the louder it is, and if I'm playing just really lightly, then it's quieter. And But you have to be careful if you're pushing. If you push too hard, then you get that crunchy sound. So again, you have to really be careful. So I normally don't only use one of those four techniques. I'll normally use two of them together. So I might use more bow in the lower part of the bow to play louder, and then if I want to play quieter, play up close to the tip and use less bow. So a lot of times I'll combine more than just one of those four techniques to make the difference in sound. It really depends on what the piece is and what's coming up next, where I want to be in the bow and which one of those I'm going to try. But you can play around with all four and see which is most effective for you and just realize that you're not always going to use the same trick every time. It's going to be different depending on what you're playing. So the four ways that you can change the volume of your violin when you're playing is number one. <laughs> number one was how much bow you're using. Number two was where in the bow you're playing. Number three was the bow placement in between the bridge and the fingerboard. And number four was how much weight you're putting in the bow. Happy fiddling.